the last segment, we talked about stars Olive Borden, Edward Sedgwick, and Louise Fazenda. Today, we're going to talk about two more of the original eight prototype stars laid down here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Ernest Torrance was born in Edinburgh, Scotland, and he started his career as an opera singer. But due to an injury, he had to quit and he became an actor. Now, in the year 1911, before the Great War broke out, that's World War I, he came to America to work in silent pictures. He did such character roles as the old codger in the covered wagon, Captain Hook in Peter Pan, and he played Buster Keaton's paw in the film Steamboat Bill Jr. Now he was cast opposite type against Clara Bow as the love interest playing a gentle giant. He segued into talkies beautifully. He starred in the 1931 film Fighting Caravans with Gary Cooper. 1932, he played Moriarty in Sherlock Holmes. And in 1933, he shot the picture I Cover the Waterfront. He starred in that opposite Claudette Colbert. Unfortunately, Mr. Torrance died of gallbladder right before his last picture came out. So hey, let's go talk about a star whose first picture was a talkie in 1929. I mean, this is right on the cusp when silence turned to talkies. Preston Foster was born in Ocean City, New Jersey. And fresh from Broadway, like I said, in the year 1929, he made his film debut. In fact, his second picture was a picture called Two Seconds, and that was a role that he had played on Broadway. Some of his other movies include I Am a Fugitive from the Chain Gang, People's Enemy, and My Friend Flicka. Mr. Foster also transitioned beautifully between playing the heroic roles and the villainous roles. After one of his villainous motion pictures, his mom saw it and he asked her what she thought. She said, it was a nice picture, Preston, but you have to do roles like that. During World War II, he served in the Coast Guard, and he was also quite the accomplished singer. He and his wife had a trio, along with a guitar player, and they performed on the radio and in nightclubs. They even got to perform with Miss Rita Hayworth. Now, in the 50s, early 50s, Mr. Foster was one of the first actors to jump on the bandwagon of the small screen, that being the TV. Oh, and since we're talking about that, here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the original eight prototypes had for categories movies, except for Mr. Preston Foster, who had the category of TV. Um, the other categories that they didn't use were radio and the record for recording artists. That helped start the Grammys, by the by, and more on that later. Tune in for the next segment as you can hear about Ronald Coleman and his beautifully modulated and cultured voice. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.